Howdy everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Handy Monk, and today we're going to be taking a look at boot camp between Mac and Windows, and issues that can arise with your Windows installation if there's a power outage. I have here a Mac that runs Mac OS, and I have it dual booted with Windows using boot camp. It's a very common thing for people to do. It's a very useful feature because there are sometimes certain Windows applications that you want to have access to that you can't get to if you just run Mac OS. And recently, I had a power outage, and I noticed after the power outage, my Windows OS would no longer boot. So it would turn on, and it would sit there and just sit at the Windows loading screen forever, forever, and forever, and it would never boot. The issue can be with when you lose power, uh, something called the PRAM can get corrupted and needs to be reset. The PRAM is a special memory that's on board that when the system boots, that's what tells the operating system what the connected drives are, what the connected displays are, and other information like that. And so if that information gets kind of messed up, then Mac can't find the boot drive for Windows OS, and so it kind of gets stuck in this infinite loop trying to boot, and it never boots the operating system. And so today I'm going to show you how to reset the PRAM. That way, if you ever have issues with your boot camp Windows OS, let's say something like a power outage happens and the machine was not able to properly shut down, you can reset the PRAM, and that will sometimes help get you out of these issues and get you back into your Windows OS. So let's take a look at how to reset the PRAM. So here's Windows trying to boot, and it just gets stuck in this infinite boot screen. So to fix this issue, I want to power off the machine. So to reset the PRAM, you want to power on the machine. So I'm going to push the power button, and then immediately after powering on, I want to press and hold the Alt or Option key, Command key, R key, plus P key, and just wait for it to boot. And this might take a couple seconds and you should eventually hear the traditional Mac OS ding. But you want to keep holding the keys at this point. So don't let go. Keep holding down the keys. It'll turn off. Keep holding down the keys. So after a little while, you'll hear the ding again. Then you can let go of the keys and it should start a normal boot cycle. So that means you just reset the PRAM. And it should boot into Mac OS. So once you're booted into Mac OS, you actually don't have to log in at this point unless you want to go in and do um, something from within your Mac user account. And so I can actually just restart the computer at this point and I'll take a second to turn off. Then when I hear the ding, I want to hold just the option key on the keyboard. So there's the ding. I immediately press the option key and just hold it. So I'm holding the option key and we should get boot menu options in a second. So there are my boot options. I'm going to release the option key, arrow over to my Windows installation, boot that, hit enter, and give it a minute and we should be able to boot into Windows. So there you have it. That's how you can reset the PRAM on your Mac. If you ever have problems with boot camp and for some reason Windows won't load, especially after an event like a power outage where Windows didn't shut down correctly, you can go in, reset the PRAM, and hopefully that will get things working for you again. And you don't have to reinstall the Windows operating system. It's just a matter of resetting the PRAM. Alright, well I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to go out in Kindle and Enlighten.